With all the focus on athletic achievements in CB, the accomplishments of the theater department are often overlooked. We asked Heather Christensen, Jacob Cherry, and Spencer Fitzpatrick about their triumphs. So the Ellie Awards are given out by uh, this theater group called SARDA, which is the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance. And so they give out uh, awards to people from schools or theater productions, uh, just honor a lot of people that are working in the arts in Sacramento. They support youth and community theater in the Sacramento area. And when they say Sacramento area, that extends all the way down to Stockton, all the way out to Lincoln, all the way out to Yuba City. So it's a really big region. And they sort of judge the productions. And uh, every year they provide awards called the Ellie's to recognize excellence. I won the Ellie Award for Best Supporting Actor in an Education Musical for my role as uh, Pat Gilbert in State Fair. So I won uh, the Ellie for Best Lead Actor in an Educational Play, and that is for my performance in Hamlet that I did uh, last fall. I personally this year got uh, an Ellie Award for Set Design for our fall play Hamlet, uh, but the school overall received five awards as well. My first year I won for set design for uh, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. I've also won uh, Scenic and Lighting Awards for The Tempest and a Lighting Design Award for uh, Sweet Charity as well. So um, it's been a good run. Full of pride in their art, they speak of how it feels to have their work recognized. It feels pretty good to be recognized for what you're doing because uh, you, know, you put so much energy into it. Uh, and it just feels good to know that people enjoyed what you did. That feels pretty great, um, just to be a part of a place that's been hardworking for, at theater for four years and um, to be, you know, even just nominated uh, and then to be really recognized uh, with these awards is really meaningful. We don't really have a benchmark for excellence in theater. We're sort of making art in our own little bubble and to then go and see um, the excellence that surrounds us and to have some sense of where you fall in that community um, is really, really valuable. Um, so besides, we love applause, so a little more couldn't hurt. I hope to study theater in college uh, after that. I have no idea. I don't think I'll really be happy doing anything that's not in the theater industry, but we'll see how my life turns out. So I'll be going to college this fall, uh, being a theater major, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. My future plans are to stay here at Christian Brothers and keep making great shows with excellent students. Um, it's very, very rewarding and it's exactly where I want to be. I'm very sad to leave because I just had such an amazing time here uh, with the people here and I'm uh, really going to miss them all. Um, and, but they're going to do great things no matter what. Thankful for my time here and, and excited for the future too. The theater department is in the midst of rehearsals for CB's new show. They tell us what it is and why we should see it. So Singing in the Rain is a show about the movement of talking pictures in the 20s. Uh, it follows a movie star who is having a graceful transition into the talking pictures and his partner is not. Uh, and he falls in love with a girl and uh, they get into a lot of hijinks and there's a lot of tap dancing. We're putting a lot of energy into it, so please come see it. If you have not seen Singing in the Rain, do yourself a favor and come see this show. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. You cannot be sad and watch this movie. You cannot be sad and watch this show. It's just two hours of unbridled fun. And if you have seen the film, come and see the show because I think you'll be amazed at how our talented students are embracing this really challenging material. It's just gonna be an absolute ball. And no, I will not tell you how we're doing the rain. This has been Owen Larson reporting for the Talon Morning News.